Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of the Arc Dev Kit mapping tutorial series. In this episode we will be getting a working day and weather cycle implemented into our map. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your map loaded in that you're working on and we are going to load up a second instance of the Arc Dev Kit. Now to do this you go to whichever folder your dev kit is installed in. So for mine I have it on my C drive. And then under program files epic games arc dev kit you should see this file called arc dev kit which is a windows batch file go ahead and double click that and it should load up like the dev kit normally does and will bring you to the test map area which loads up by default now when you are there you want to navigate to the islands persistent level to get there you go down to the content browser open up the maps folder then open up the island submaps folder and scroll down until you get to a level called the island. Go ahead and double click that and once it loads in you should see a scene similar to this. Now what we're going to do is delete a few things out of our map here. So the first thing we want to delete is the light source. So go ahead and click on that and hit delete. Hit yes. And it will take a short while for this first part to delete. We will be deleting four items here, but we will be replacing them with stuff that we copy over from the island. So, next we will get the global post process blueprint. So, go ahead and delete that. Then, BP sky sphere and atmospheric fog. Now, it will be pitch black now, but that will change in a little bit. So, let's go ahead and come back to the island here. And we want to copy the post process snow biome volume. Let's go ahead and click on that. Hit Control C to copy. And then click on your scene outliner and hit control V to paste it in. And this is just going to be a temporary placeholder for now, as you probably will have to make your own because your snow biome, if you have one, will not be the same shape or size as the islands. So you're going to have to make your own. This will just be a placeholder to put into the level blueprint for now to make sure that everything's connected correctly. And then you can replace that with the one that you create later on. So let's go ahead and minimize that folder. And the next thing we want to copy over is from the day weather folder. Now we want to copy everything in this folder except for the day cycle manager three because we will be making our own to customize it. Let's go ahead and click on matinee daytime. And then while holding shift, click on true sky sequence actor. That should select everything you need. Hit control C. And then click on here and control V. Now if you look at what's copied over, you will notice that the matinee value interpolation container did not copy over. I seem to have issues getting that to copy over, but we can um, bring that in by using the search bar in the content browser. So look up matinee value interpolation container, and we don't want to be in the aberration folder. And you will see it here, so go ahead and drag that in, and then we want to move that so right click go on move to folder and click on for some reason day weather won't show up there just click on it and drag it to there there we go and now let's just quickly make sure that the settings match up with what's in here so 59.5 Four, nine. Nope, we gotta change those. Okay, let's go ahead and click that. And paste that in. Then type in one. And make sure there's nothing else here that we missed. Looks like that should be good then. All right, so we will move on to the lighting folder here and we need to copy these three items go ahead and select those and then go ahead and just paste those in and then we need to individually select some items from here that aren't in folders so if you scroll down we're going to select multiple things by holding control but first click on ambient global rain sound and then hold control and then do the rain sound snow the wind sound, atmospheric fog, BP sky sphere, and the dynamic capture manager. And 
keep scrolling down the starting camera the weather global outdoor fog and the wind directional source go ahead and copy those and paste them into your map here I'll just go ahead and click off that for a second and now we are going to add in our day cycle manager so first we'll need to make a copy of the base blueprint for it so just type in day cycle and then copy this day cycle manager base blueprint into your maps folder so copy there and once that is done go to your maps folder and you should see it in here so go ahead and rename it to have your maps name at the end of it then once that saves you're going to want to open that and minimize that for a second and then come to the aberration folder and type in day and then open the aberration day cycle blueprint and what we're going to do now is add in a global buff that allows for the light pets to work and for the plant species Z to work, I believe. Um, this is just helpful if you have people transferring creatures to your map. So go ahead and go to the graph on both of these. And what we want to do on the Aberration Day Cycle is go to the Shooter Character Possessed function on the top. And it will do this rebuilding class hierarchy for a while here. Um, that's okay. It shouldn't take that long to finish. When first opening the Aberration Day Cycle Blueprint, it might take a while to load up right away. Um, but after the first time, it should load up fairly quick. So if it's taken a long time to load, that's normal. Just give it some time and it will show up. Um, your dev kit did not freeze. Okay, now that might pop out. Just click on the tab and drag it back into here. And what we want to do is just copy this box here. Not this one, this is for earthquakes. We want this one because it's the global aberration buff. So first let's go to our day cycle manager that we just made and come to the search bar here and type in shooter and then come down to the shooter character possessed, right click on it and click implement function. Come back to the aberration day cycle and click on this box and control C to copy it. And then just click on here and control V to paste that in and then we want to connect these here and then just hit compile and then hit save and we should be good with that let's go ahead and X out of that and come back to our tutorial map and drag our day cycle manager into the map here and you'll see that all of our values here are either 0 or 1. Those are the default values. Now we need to change these so that they match the day cycle manager from the island. And to do that, we will just copy and paste values from there. Um, you can probably do this on your own, so you can skip over this portion of the video, or you can follow along, whichever you prefer. But I am going to walk through this on the video. So let's come back up to the day cycle manager which is here we're going to copy these values over so we got that and this one and then we got 0.98 and 0.9 And then 0, 0, 0 0.12, 6.5. So 0, 0, 0 0.12, and 6.5. We'll copy these three values here.
Then now we're going to add in the sound transitions to morning, noon, and night. So go ahead and click on that. And then type in arc underscore transition. We want to morning. And this one is arc underscore transition to noon. And then this one is arc underscore transition to night. Okay, and then we think we have three more that we have to copy in here. Yes. So let's go ahead and copy those. And then we have one more. All right, so that's it for the day cycle manager. Now we are going to link some of these actors together. So click on BP Sky Sphere. And then we want to add our day cycle manager into there. And that is it for now. But now we are going to set the matinees up so that they are linked correctly. So the first thing that we are going to do is come up to the matinee up here and then open the matinee daytime. Now minimize it so that we can select stuff from the side here and we want to select our day cycle manager. Um, so we are actually going to click on it real quick, right click, move to folder and move it to day weather just so it's all grouped together here. And while that is selected, right click on day cycle, go to actors and replace group actors with selected actor. Now click on the matinee value interpolation container and replace group actors. And then we want the BP sky sphere selected and then replace group actors. Now that matinee is done. So now we will move on to the master day cycle. And for this one, we are going to click on the day cycle manager and replace group actors. And then for the sunlight, we want the directional light. So click on that and replace group actors. And for true sky, we want the true sky sequence actor. Let's go ahead and replace that or it's already done for us. That's good. And now we want the post process. So we need to find the global post process blueprint. And replace that one there. And then skylight, replace the skylight with that. And the global weather fog is going to be the weather global outdoor fog. And go ahead and replace group actors. And then we need to come up to our snow post process volume and replace group actors. Okay, so the day cycle matinee is done now. So let's come back up here open up the weather cold front one and this one we need to select day cycle manager and replace group actors and then the skylight and replace group actors so that's it for cold front next up is the fog so for the outdoor fog we come down to the weather global outdoor fog and replace group actors I believe true sky is already done and then day cycle manager up here you're going to replace group actors so after the fog we have the heat wave and replace the day cycle manager and then for skylight we are going to click on skylight replace that so heat wave is now done and our last one is the rain so Click on your day cycle manager, place group actors, skylight, we'll replace those group actors, and then for sunlight we need the directional light. Let's go ahead and replace that. Now your matinee should be linked up correctly. So let's go ahead and X out of that. And now we're going to have to move into the level blueprint. So if you come up to blueprint and then open level blueprint, you will see that yours for your map is completely blank that is okay now we will go to the island and load up their level blueprint 
and this might take a short while for it to load up um, as they do have a lot of stuff on theirs and just a fair warning this level blueprint is a little messy but we will try to make some sense of it so try to follow along the best you can as I try to decipher what they put in here as well but we will be doing a lot of switching back and forth between the islands level blueprint and our level blue, blue blueprint Blah. so uh, just try to follow along the best you can and if you have any questions about where we are go ahead and just rewatch that portion of the video okay so as you can see they got a lot of stuff here and a lot of this we don't need we don't need the cave stuff I um, don't need the boss fight stuff yet don't need the water stuff don't need the tech cave so all we need is this stuff over here so let's go ahead and select these two here just left click and drag and then control C to copy that then come back to your level blueprint and just click and control V to paste it in alright I'll go back to the island and now we want this stuff right here let's go ahead and control C and we will paste this in and try not to copy too much at once as if you do you can just freeze up your dev kit and it'll all crash I've had it happen multiple times before so just taking small chunks is usually a better bet let's go ahead and move this up to here back to the island Okay, so now what we want to do next is we don't need that. We will need this though. First, let's copy all this in. So we're going to make sure you only have the stuff in the box selected. And if you do catch some of the stuff that's bordering the edge, just keep note of what you selected. So I'm going to do that, and I have this box, that box, that box and these are all free okay so I'm going to control C this stuff come down to here and just paste that in and try to select it without resizing the box sometimes that can be kinda of hard to do and we're gonna put this right there so now we want to select the stuff that we didn't get before so I'm going to do that and I don't know if we got that in there or not oh yes we did okay so I don't want this and I don't want this I'm not sure if these two copied over either. Looks like the green box did, so let's get rid of that. And is player indoors? I'm not sure if that copied over either. No. Okay. So this should be all that we need here. So let's go ahead and copy that. And paste that into here. kind of get that as close as you can there that should be fine and the last thing that we need here is for the snow so let's go ahead and make sure you select all of it there, there we go let's go ahead and control C and just paste that in and I am going to move mine a little closer just so it's easier to make connections alright so you should have everything copied over now and you'll see that we have a lot of warnings and errors and stuff like that so the first thing that we need to do is add in a few functions so if you come over to the island you'll see that they have this on rep current tech cave difficulty and I'm not sure if you can add that in just by typing this in on nope 
Okay, so we're gonna have to make our own function here. So it's called on rep current tech cave difficulty. So we type on rep current tech cave difficulty. Right. Now let's go ahead and go to that. And they don't have any output functions, so that's good. We can just select this. Control C. And then Control V. And just connect this branch to there. And don't know if they have a variable for that. Yes, they do. So we're going to have to make some variables here. Click on that. It's an integer. And I'm just going to copy the name of it. And if we add a variable, we can come down to here and change it to integer. And then paste in the name. And now that should be good for that. Let's go back to our event graph. And now we are going to add in a few more functions. So we also need on rep B is raining. So right click on that and open graph. And then is really underwater. We need to open that one as well. So is really underwater. Let's go back to our map. And I'll see if it's on here. It's not. So let's add a function. Is really underwater. Okay, now let's go ahead and copy our stuff from the island on that. And they do have a return node that has a boolean with really underwater. So let's go ahead and add that onto ours. So if you click on is really underwater on outputs, click new. And then it makes a boolean there. And we're just going to add really underwater. So type in really underwater, hit enter, and we want to actually break this link and then drag that over there and come back to the island, select all of this, copy that, and paste it in, and we want to move this up here. And now we have to make a few links here, so we're going to connect that to there. And we want to connect this then pin to the return node. And I'm going to drag retval down to here. And now we're going to have to make a local variable called retval. So you click on that. It's a boolean called retval. So copy that name. And it's a local variable, so to make that, we're just going to click local variable and make sure that you change to boolean before you enter the name. And then enter retval into there. And now we are good with that. And now we just have to do the last function, which is on rep b is raining. And I believe that one is not able to, no, cannot add that in either. Okay, so let's add it in, it's called on rep b is raining. So on rep b is raining. And I do want a space between there. There we go. And we just want to copy that into there. So let's go ahead and connect that. And that should be all we have to do for this one. Okay, now let's go back to the event graph. And now we are going to drag that back into there. And now we have to link some stuff up here. So. We're going to come back to the islands, go to their event graph, 
and use this as a template to figure out where we need to connect stuff. So this branch up here connects down to then to so let's find then to and connect it up to this branch and this branch will connect to then three Let's go ahead and connect that. All right. Let's go back to here. See where our other connections are. And we have this set comes down to the switch has authority. So let's go ahead and just drag that to there. Okay. Now we need to connect some stuff here. So then zero will go to switch has authority. Let's go ahead and connect that. and come back to this and then one will go to the switch has authority for the rain and then two will go down to the switch has authority for the fog so let's go ahead and add those in so switch has authority and switch has authority okay that should be good for that See what else we got to link up here. So this is player indoors. That has to connect to the set visibility. So does the false. So let's connect the false first up to here and the set visibility up to there. And this not that's there goes to is player indoors so let's just connect that there the other side goes to the and so connect that up to there and let's see what else we got here and this and pin goes to new visibility Leave it to there. And we'll see what goes to the select float. So pick A goes to is underwater. So is underwater goes to pick A. And then zero goes to branch then five where does that go okay then five is coming down to this branch here so let's click that and drag it down to here that's where the other then was going to oh, which one are we missing then eight so then 8 is coming up to set start distance. Let's go ahead and connect that one there. And then we'll see what other connections were coming down to here. So destroy component comes up to spawn emitter at location. there 
that we should make sure the set start distance doesn't have anything coming off of it. It does not. And there was a boolean connection here. So coming from is raining. It's going to come to the condition for the branch. So let's find the is raining first. It's right here. there and make sure that false does not have a connection does it not alright so we are looking pretty good here looks like this connection goes to rain particles that one I believe yes okay make sure there's no other ones here we did that connection that connection that one is underwater that one's connected 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 all this is connected. Alright, now we have to make some variables here real quick. But first, let's come up to here and just delete this tech cave stuff. We don't need that yet. Okay, and now we are going to add in some variables. So the island has a lot of variables on here, and we're just going to go down the list and add them in. So the first one we're going to click on is the is raining. So go ahead and copy that name and do note that it is rep notify. Let's come back to ours, click add new variable. And we'll change replication to rep notify. And B is raining. All right now let's add in the next one which is in cave and it might do some weird renaming thing if you see that happen just hit control Z and click off of this and then click in cave and then just copy your name here this one is not rep notify so we're just going to have to add a new variable and just call it in cave next one is weather enabled so let's go ahead and copy that I'm going to duplicate the end cave here and call it weather enabled so our next one is underwater copy that duplicate that paste in the name is player indoors this is just mainly tedious work now just going through and adding all of these in so you can copy that name and duplicate that and paste in his river water. And next we are going to do is in snow biome. Let's go ahead and copy that. And our next one is rain enabled. Copy that. Okay, now we'll go back to here. 
and we need the rain visual effects template so this is a particle system so I'm going to copy the name real quick and to add this one in we're going to do new variable click on the drop down menu and type in particle system we want this one here and then paste in the name make sure there was no other settings attached to that looks like we have that correct and next we want the water visual effects template and that's also a particle system so we can just duplicate that and paste in the name and come back to here and we need last rain visual effects template so copy that and duplicate paste in the name all right now we have to add in the components down here so these are particle emitters so we need rain particles underwater particles and river particles and that was particle emitter so let's go ahead and add in particle and I believe you want the particle system component yes and we're going to change that name to not not that I apparently did not copy that over so let's go ahead and click on rain particles and that's going to do the weird renaming thing again let's control Z click off there okay now I'm going to copy rain particles and I believe that these are all the same so I can just duplicate them yes they are okay so I'm gonna copy underwater particles duplicate paste in the name And then river particles. Duplicate. Paste in the name. And now we have to um, add in some matinee stuff here. So if you look on the island, they have these here and we want to add those in so what we're gonna do is come back to our level blueprint minimize it and the first one that they had was the cold front so you're gonna come up to the cold front click add event and I believe that is the on matinee updated Nope, not that one. Okay, well, let's go back up to where that was. And if you right click, add matinee controller. There we go. That's what we need. And then we need the heat wave one as well. So let's go to heat wave, right click, add matinee controller. I think they had one they have one for rain and they have one for the fog so let's add those in so click on rain right click add matinee controller and then come down here click on the fog right click add matinee controller all right now we need to link those up so if we come back to here see that rain is connected to the switch has authority so 
let's connect the rain one real quick. And the fog one is probably connected to that as well. I believe they're all connected to the switch has authority. Yes. Okay. So we can do that real quick. So fog connected there. And come up here. And these are both connected to this one. Okay. Now if we compile, we are still going to get some errors. So wait for that to finish. Yes, we have some errors. So we have all these unknowns here. Now we need to replace those with actors from our map. So let's go ahead and start from the top here. Make sure there's nothing there. Apparently these are not connected to anything. Don't know if that's correct or not. Let's actually look up here. Okay, those are supposed to be connected to the AND pins, but they're not. So let's go ahead and connect those. Okay. Now we will move down to here. And we need to substitute some stuff into here. So let's move down. And that's the matinee value interpolation container. So what we're going to do is come to our map here. Minimize that. Click on matinee value interpolation container. Right click. Um, add event. And on matinee updated. So now that is in there. And we're going to just delete that and replace that connection. And now if we come back to here, we have the master day cycle, value interpolation container, and daytime. So day cycle, interpolation container, daytime. So let's go ahead and do day cycle. No, we want the matinee, not that. Let's come up to master day cycle. Value interpolation container in daytime. So let's drag daytime down to here. And interpolation container over here. Okay, we'll maximize that again real quick. And we'll just delete that and make this connection and delete that and make a connection and delete that and make a connection there and a connection there. Now if you compile these warnings should go away there. There we go. I'll move down to here. We'll replace this one. So that is the day cycle manager. So we'll come back to here. Grab our day cycle manager and drag that in. And we need to replace all these connections now. So let's go ahead and delete that. And connect there. Connect there. There. And you actually grab the pin you can connect that and those should go away too then I'll make sure there's no other ones here let's get these while we're here so this is the true sky sequence actor and day cycle manager so true sky sequence actor and day cycle manager And so this one we're going to delete and connect that there. And this one we will delete and connect right there and right there. So if we compile, all these warnings should go away. There we go. 
go. Now if we move down, we will start on the cold front and heat wave. So we need to replace these two here. So we come down to here, we have cold front on top and heat wave on the bottom. So we got cold front and heat wave. So now we have to replace these connections and this one might be hard to see but it is connected here and connected here. So let's go ahead and delete that and then connect there and connect there and then this unknown is connected here and over here. So we're going to delete that and connect our heat wave to this play and this target up here. Now that should be good for that there. Right now on rain here, we have two unknowns over here. So we need to replace those. And that is the weather rain and day cycle manager. Let's come back here and weather rain, day cycle manager, and maximize that again. And this one is connected to this target and to this target. So let's go ahead and delete that and connect there and connect to there. And then this unknown is connected to this target and do that target. So let's delete that again and connect there and up to here. And now those should go away. And I am seeing that we have a naming problem with one of the functions we added in, so we will fix that after we're done replacing stuff here. Yep, on rep B is raining, so that's conflicting with our naming. So now let's see what this one down here is. Weather global outdoor fog. So it's down on the bottom, weather global outdoor fog. And that one is just connected up to that target. So let's go ahead and connect that there. And then we'll do the fog. It's this unknown here. And I believe that's just the weather fog. Yep. So let's come back up and drag the weather fog into here. And if we maximize this again, it's connected to this target and to this target. So we're going to go ahead and delete that and connect there and connect there and now we have to start up here change moon texture that's the true sky sequence actor let's drag that into here and just delete that Connect that target. I believe there was some up here. So we have two unknowns there. If we look at what those are over here, it's the BP sky sphere and the atmospheric fog. So let's do BP sky sphere and atmospheric fog. If we maximize that again, we can see where we need to make connections. So there's two coming off this one, connecting to there and connecting to the input object down there. So let's delete that and we're just going to connect there and it's the input object. There we go. And the sky sphere here is connected to there and to there. So let's go ahead and delete. It's connected to there and connected to there. And it looks like we did not connect this destroy actor here. So let's go ahead and do that while we're looking at it. So that goes to there and that target goes to our atmospheric fog. Okay, that's good. 
Now we are going to connect that there and connect that there. Okay. And now we have this is really underwater is not connected to anything. I think that's what's connected to the knot. Yeah. Let's just connect that there. And then we are down on the bottom here. So let's hurry up and compile real quick. And we should see a few of these error messages go away. Yep, we got most of those to go away now. And if we come to here, we can replace these references. So let's come down to there. And that's ambient global rain sound, ambient global rain sound snow. So ambient global rain sound, ambient global rain sound snow. And just connect the new references. So let's go to there. We can connect it. There we go. And then connect it there. And this whole chunk here is using the post process volume that goes around the snow biome to determine if you are in there. And then it uses that information um, to determine if it should either rain or snow. So now let's replace these as well. I believe that's the same thing. So what we're going to do is select both of these, copy, and paste, and then just delete those. I'm going to connect those there. And now we need to replace these. So this is using our snow post process volume. So we're going to minimize this real quick, come up to the snow and right click, add event on post process volume entered, and then right click again, add event on post process volume left. So now if we select both of those, we can drag them up to here and delete that, delete that, and move it a little bit closer, and connect that one there and connect that one there. Now let's compile again. We should have less errors. And see where this one is. Ah, the true sky. So let's go back up to true sky. That's for the day cycle manager. So let's on day cycle manager and that's on matinee updated so now we can replace that there I should get rid of that error message on rep B is raining okay so it looks like we need to rename this. All right. So let's right click rename and it's on rep underscore B is raining let's see what that does now all right looks like our level blueprint is good to go no more error messages. So that is good. And let's go ahead and just X out of that then. 
and if we click on master day cycle open matinee and click play we should have the lighting stops glitching we should load in our landscape and I am going to add in our ocean plane as well now so if you do BP underscore island add in the water plane there we go and now go to details and change your location to zero 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 and then you can increase your height a little bit so I'm going to do that. If you did notice, I did do a little bit of sculpting off camera. That's just so that once I added this in, um, you would be able to see a little bit of land still. Uh, just one thing to note, when you add in your ocean plane, uh, you probably are going to want your oceans to be a little deeper because mine are pretty shallow. And you're going to want your beaches to be a little less steep than this. This is just to show for a tutorial though, so it doesn't really matter. Make it however you want. And then what we are going to do is connect our sunlight and connect our day cycle manager so we're not going to add in the physics or post process volumes yet for the ocean I'll do that later in a different episode where I will also show you how to do it for lakes and rivers but as you can see we now have a sky and if you come up to show and click on have true sky active and it gets rid of some of those clouds um, that's especially helpful when you are first loading up your map and you have like those black clouds if you click that it'll get rid of them and uh, just to further test to make sure that our matinee is working let's go ahead and let's x out of the islands level blueprint let's click on matinee weather rain and open matinee and let's just play it and our sky should start to get darker And we should start to see some clouds build up here. Let's actually get a little closer to the landscape here. Now you see our rain clouds starting to form in here. That is good. And let's just X out of that now. And you can see we have a nice little rainy cloud scenario going on here so if you go back to master day cycle you can open that up and your sky is back to normal and if you actually want to just kind of see it cycle through you can move this all the way to the left now you're at night and it'll slowly start to get light out and go through the day and it will start to get dark again for night and that is our tutorial finished up for adding in the day and weather cycle so if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section below if this helped you out leave it a like and you can subscribe for future videos which will be some more helpful tutorials uh, this was a frequently requested video that I make so I'm glad I could help you guys if it did. And um, if you have any further questions that you would like asked immediately, or would like assistance with immediately, um, there's going to be a link to my Discord channel as well. So you can go ahead and join that, and I can talk to you one on one to help you fix any problems you may encounter. So uh, until the next video, um, good luck with your map. Goodbye.